Okay, folks, here's a quick review of the Tony Stark Iron Man figure that was recently produced by Hasbro as a part of the Marvel Universe line of products. I picked this up at Walmart for $7.96. When I first got this figure out of his blister pack, um, I thought he looked okay. But uh, after I opened him, I unfortunately learned that his helmet does not slip onto his head, uh, as was the case with the Star Wars 30th Anniversary Darth Vader figure. On this particular figure, you have to physically pop off one head and snap the other included head into position on the hinge joint in the neck area. Uh, I think this can be difficult for a young child to do, and an adult may have to help uh, out with the switch, as the joint could potentially break if you're not careful with it. The figure does have a nice sculpt on him, and it does stand very nicely on his base. I also uh, was pleased to note that there don't seem to be any paint application errors on this figure's costume. I've also learned recently that this figure has a variant base. One is labeled Tony Stark on it, and the other is labeled Iron Man. Since I happen to have the Iron Man version, uh, this is how I'm going to keep him on my shelf with his mask on, as you see here. Okay, uh, Tony Stark Iron Man comes with the following two accessories. So let me pan down real quick and I'll show you what they are. All right, first up, uh, you can see that we have the extra head with uh, Tony Stark's face. There is some nice detailing in the facial feature area, particularly in the eyes and the mustache. All right, next up we have a repulsor blast accessory that fits on either arm via a small clip right here. Uh, this is the same accessory that came with Iceman, uh, with the only difference being that uh, this particular one is colored in an off-yellow scheme, and I personally think it looks better on this figure's left arm where his hand is open. Alright, what I'm going to do now is a quick 360 of the figure and show you the detailing uh, from all sides. So overall, um, I don't think this is a bad figure to have. I like the coloration on this figure quite a bit, and I think the figure is presented fairly well. The only problem that I have with this figure is the head swap gimmick, which I feel is quite difficult to do. But even so, I think this figure is worth uh, adding to your Marvel Universe collection. Alright, so on that note, take care and stay tuned for my next review. Have a good one.